Because all the hierarchy of APC now, they are now wayward people. Even they are now dancing to the tune of the PDP people. What we hate in PDP people are now coming. Even the chairman now is now becoming a radical. I don't know where the, where, what the government needs. What the government, why the government wanted to keep the governor of uh, Kogi State? I don't know. He's going to tarnish the image of the party. And there's going to be war there. Because what the people want is not what they would have forced on them. And they know what will happen. If they have remember what happened in, in 1929 in Abba Women Riot. <laughs> if the masses lose control, it's harder than when you, when you pick up children on the streets. And they should remember what happened in 1983 in all those states. When PDP, um, SDP, and uh, AD were having headlock collusion. But what happened to the Nigerian soldiers? How many soldiers they lost at Okeibo? When the trouble starts, the Yabalis will stand, the pastors will stand, the Mashat people will stand, everybody will stand. The people of Kogi are not, they are not happy with the governor. Then they should talk to Shimole. They should talk to the president. They should talk to the people in Azorok. If there is anything they want to do with that boy, they can send him out as an ambassador. They are not having peace in that place. It's a warning. And they should know. Buying people's votes, buying people's card, buying everything, buying the vote will not solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, below the, yes. The, the, the white lion. The and said that place is going to be ruled by a retired officer. Not this guy that they brought through the back door. Enough is enough. Because when you look at the book of Anima Farm or Julius Caesar, he said, we are going to write a letter of different handwriting in Julius Caesar. He said, but Cicero is a tough senator. He said, we will forge his handwriting. All the things that are going on in another place are forgery. They are forging, they are stepping on people's head, people's auto, opinion, people's vision, everything. It may be boomerang. Well, as last week during the electoral INEC meeting with the Arabilo and the PDP gubernatorial aspirant, that's the general brother of the former governor of Wada, during the chats in Abuja, the PDP gubernatorial aspirant was fast asleep, was sleeping, he slept off. It was Arabilo that was sitting down. So, so does it mean that the guy has failed because he showed his picture all over the social media where he was sleeping from GR1 to GR5, sir, during the sleeping, sir? Uh, thank you, my brother. Yara Bello is a spiritualist, is a herbalist, is ten in one. Yara Bello is ten in one. He has charmed the boy. He has charmed the Wada, Wada guy. He's charmed. He slept, he slept that he just slept at this side. Remember our pastor in the United Nations? Yeah, he slept also. Yes, water was coming out from his mouth. Yes, sir. But that doesn't mean he didn't wake up, he woke up again. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That was when he was thinking of what to do to Oshimali. <laughs> you may not even think, say maybe he's, he's sleeping, but it's okay. But there is nothing PDP can do there. They are going to rob, they're going to rig election there. Kogi State. Yes, but you forget it. So, you mean your yeah, below is standing one side? And a lot of people are going to get missing. Because he has his own police, he has his own soldier, he has his own habilis, he has his own everything. And he has, he has a power to the room, to the bedroom of the president. That's yes. Yabilo. What transpired in the family of Buhari, maybe in the next interview, I will tell you what is going on there. But they say woman is powerful. I won't say more than that.